All the world's a business, and all the men and women merely earners and consumers. They have their clocking in times and clocking out, and one man in his time endures many an hour. First the young student, filled with hope and joy, paying his fees with concerns for the future, enslaved to the corporations and profits. Then, young and married, dressed in suit and tie, travel close packed with many others, despising and hating the daily commute, the dreams of yesterday fading with time. Now the homeowner, burdened with responsibility, eyes tired, lines deepening, brows furrowed with rate rises, bank charges and mouths to feed. The loss of employment is the loss of everything. Then the divorcee, victim of boom and bust, easy credit and wealth that never existed, a system unexplained, confusion, anger, bitterness, and repossession. Next, the working man. Working harder, longer, debts unpaid and unpayable, toiling more than in his youth, while his life spirit departs, his soul lost and forsaken. Then the pensioner, broken in mind and body, lives carefully on frugal means, while those above make more and more, and he is forced to spend less and less. Lastly, the care home for the final stage. Private interests consume all profits and remove all wealth, so on his deathbed, with the family gathered around, the debts do not die with him. <laughs>